The High Boy Titan is an interesting scooter. While it offers a lot of really impressive features that should appeal to a lot of riders, the things it is missing makes lots of the impressive parts of the scooter underwhelming. Let me explain. On paper and even out of the box, the Titan offers a lot of bang for your buck. 25 miles per hour top speed, rear 800 watt motor, big meaty 10 inch wheels, rear shock absorption, a big beautiful display, tall deck height, cruise control, electronic braking plus front and rear disc brakes, water resistance, great overall build quality, and all of this for under $1,000. It really seems like they have included everything on this scooter, but more is not always better. Looking at the general design of the Titan, it's going for a bigger look. The race platform height and wide off-road wheels suggest a versatile scooter for all terrains. However, it is lacking some key features that causes this bigger design to actually work against the scooter. First, the handlebar height is extremely low. The handlebars are quite short. It's gonna be interesting to see how that feels. My first ride on the scooter made me feel like I was hunched over the front of the scooter the whole time I was riding. Yeah, the handlebars are really short. I don't even know if you can see them in the camera. My guess is no. That's the biggest thing I've noticed right off the bat is that the handlebars are extremely low. They're nice and wide, but they're also low. Very crouched position you have to get into. Even after a handlebar swap, which raised the height of the handlebars by a few inches, the Titan still has the shortest height of handlebars measured from the deck of all my scooters. Second, the feeling of being hunched over the front wheel is made worse by the extremely vertical angle of the steering tube. Even small bumps make you feel like you're going to be thrown over the front of the scooter. Ow. <laughs> Next, the feeling of instability is compounded even more by the lack of front suspension. And I think here is where we can track down the main root of what feels off about this scooter. The thing about the Titan is that the lack of front suspension really wouldn't be a big deal if it weren't for how high off the ground you are when you ride. I seriously have a hard time understanding what the logic was behind giving this scooter the deck height of a full suspension scooter with literally no front suspension and very meager rear suspension. The added deck height of a normal high-end scooter is to compensate for the compression of the suspension. There's nothing like that going on here. Your center of gravity is higher with nothing to compensate. The higher deck height offers almost nothing positive to the performance and feel of the Titan. This high center of gravity caused by the heightened deck detracts from stability and makes it easier to lose control and crash. This, combined with the speeds this scooter is capable of, makes riding over bumps at full throttle an extremely sketchy prospect. Going over 20 miles per hour on this scooter means even small bumps seriously jerk the scooter around. Ooh. I mean, any of these bumps would just kill me. I also found myself fatiguing really quickly when riding and my hands would be in a ton of pain at the end of rides because of the death grip I had on the scooter the whole time. The conclusion I came to in my mind is the designers took the High Boy Titan Pro and in an effort to make a scooter that was cheaper, just removed a few things without thinking about how that would affect the overall feel of the scooter. Like they said, Okay, suspension is pricey, let's pull that out and mark it down a few hundred dollars. And then everyone who wants a scooter that is big and dual motor and dual suspension, but can't afford an actual high-end scooter will see this one and think that it looks like one and buy it. Just because the Titan looks like a high-end dual suspension scooter and sports off-road tires and is high off the ground and goes decent speeds, doesn't make it a good alternative to full suspension scooters. A lower riding platform alone would do wonders for this scooter. It would correct the issue of the handlebars being too low by increasing the distance from deck to bars, and it would lower the center of gravity and allow the pneumatic tires to absorb impacts without throwing you off the scooter. Then just a little adjustment to the steering tube angle and bam, a perfect 25 mile per hour e-scooter under a thousand bucks 
without needing to spend any extra on adding suspension or other parts. But that isn't what this scooter is, so let's keep moving. So, if the Titan isn't an alternative to that $2,000 dual motor dual suspension scooter I can't quite afford, then it must be good for commuting, right? Well, I can't quite recommend it as a daily commuter either. The Titan weighs in at around 50 pounds, making it just slightly too awkward to haul around and carry into work or upstairs on a daily basis. Besides the obvious issue of weight, you can't carry it with one hand because the handlebars have no clip to keep them in place when folded. Also, pneumatic tires mean that a flat on your way to work puts this bad boy out of commission. If you're looking for a daily commuter, you would be better off getting something a little lighter and more focused on commuting like the Titan's younger brother, the S2 Pro, or maybe an Unagi Model 1. Now I hear you saying, dang, you hate this scooter. Well, that's not true either. <laughs> I had a lot of fun riding it while testing it and preparing this review, but if you're going to buy this scooter, it's essential that you understand what it's good at. The Titan is a scooter that is best for casual, fun, recreational urban rides. It's perfect for cruising your local bike path or riding up the local trail. It isn't for blasting trails at full throttle with no regard for anything, because if you do that, you'll end up on your face. You have to keep an eye out for potential bumps and hazards because the scooter really has no natural way to handle those, especially at high speeds. This really is a scooter for splitting the difference between crazy fast scootering and the slower speeds of entry level scooters. This is for that person that wants a little more speed, but isn't looking to shred trails or do anything off road. This scooter feels like it wasn't designed to go 25 miles per hour, yet it does. So you need to be sure to check your speed when riding this scooter. I had someone who reached out to me recently asking a few questions about the Titan and they said that they purchased the Titan to ride around the park with their dog. That is an example of the perfect use for this scooter. A daily park cruise with your dog seems like the dream scenario for the Titan. The tall deck does have usefulness in a scenario like this for hopping up and going down curbs and the off-road style wheels have usefulness for riding through a little dirt or through the grass. If you want a trail blasting, balls to the wall experience, just spend a little more on the scooter designed to do that with full suspension. And if you want a commuting scooter for a daily work or school commute, there are some more suitable options. However, if you fall in between these two wants, then I think the Titan is a suitable choice. It really is built solidly and has one of the best, most solid stem locks I've ever seen. This definitely feels like a scooter that is built to last. Just don't expect it to perform well as an off-road scooter or to handle bumps and obstacles at high speeds. I hope I was able to paint the picture I wanted to of this scooter for you guys and help you decide if this is a scooter that you want to buy. If you are interested in this scooter, you can find a link to it down in the description. If you feel like I missed something, or this is a bad take, then leave a comment below or ask me a question directly at arcanineRides.com forward slash contact. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more scooter content, and I'll see you next time. I got a bad for a girl like you. You can tell me that you want me to. I want you bad. Yeah. Been on the look for a stunner like you. No one can move just the way you do. I want you bad.